You've probably used Google Maps to find a location or get directions. But did you know you can also create your own maps with customized place marks and other features? This is a great way to gather and share place-based information and help students develop geographic literacy along the way. In this example, let's imagine students are studying China. Small groups of students are focusing on different aspects of Chinese life, culture, government, history, and so on. You can have students use Discovery Education resources and create a Google Map to deepen their understanding, collaborate together, and share what they've learned. For example, the small group of students studying Chinese religions can search for images related to their topic. Here's the Temple of Heaven. Let's put that on our map. To create a custom map, start by logging into Google. Click on Maps. Then select My Maps. Next, click Create New Map. You'll want to give your map a title. We'll call this one Life in China and add a description. Then select Public or Unlisted. I'm going to keep this one unlisted. Now I'm ready to add the Temple of Heaven. I know that it's located in Beijing, China, so I can search Google Maps for it, and there it is. Now I'll go back to my maps, Life in China, and create my own place marker for the temple. Select the Add a Place Marker tool and drag it to your location. Click the marker to edit it and give it a title. Temple of Heaven, then add some information. This Taoist temple was built in the 15th century. I've also learned that the Temple of Heaven is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So let's add that here with a link to more information on the UNESCO website. First, I need to grab the URL of the UNESCO page I want to link to. Then, change to Rich Text Editing, highlight the text, and click the Link button to insert the URL. Now I want to add the photo from the Discovery Education site. First, I need to grab the link again. I'm going to right-click on the image and select Copy Image Address. Back on the place mark, I'm going to click the Insert Image button and paste it in. I can also use this image for the place mark icon. Just click on the icon, select Add Icon, and paste the address. Of course, now I need to add the image credit. So I'll go back to the Discovery Education page copy and paste the citation, and then add it below the photo. Students can continue creating new place marks and using the drawing tool to add lines and shapes to their map. All your students can collaborate on the same map. You can invite them individually if they have Google accounts or just set the permissions so anyone can edit the map. Once you're finished, you can link your map to your class website. You can view it with satellite imagery, and if you've downloaded Google Earth plugin, you can take a virtual tour. This is a great way for students to give interactive presentations of what they've learned about people and places around.